Hello everyone, it's Katrice here and welcome you to another episode of Library of Ruina. Last time we have unlocked the floor of social sciences and that librarian, Chesed, the absolute bro of coffee. And also due to that, we have gotten access to the, uh, the next level of floor of general works. Finally, four librarians for Keter. I am absolutely happy about this. Also, we got Lies. And Lies looks interesting. So I have made Angel, the new librarian, a build consisting purely of free costs. Because technically, if we get Lies on her, and of course I have something, uh, some pages that work well, like collision that can refund to light so that I can actually play more if I have to but uh, I also have draws I think oh I only have one draw with repressed flesh Aww. I kind of want more draws I I'll change this page accordingly once I know what to do but yeah basically I've got <laughs> I've got this one here, hoarding all the free costs and just having more damage. <laughs> Everything in our kit is just more damage and light. So let's see if this works out. Today I want to do the uh, general receptions. Wait, that shouldn't be unknown. That should be the seven association. What is what does this do? Well, we'll check out that one last. First up, we go for no, that's just rust shines. We go for the seven association. Seven invitation, and up we go. Seven association is the uh, is a general reception that has Dante's page in it. So it's only no normal that we start with the Keter floor, right? Alright, so basically the way that they work is they just want to apply fragile as much as possible. And honestly, by god, they can do that. Alright, I don't know, I don't have a one, one thing in hand that I really would like, so... Out we go there. Now you do what you can do best, which is discarding shit. You do what you can do best, which is piercing shit. And you do what you do best, which is buffing shit. Sounds like a plan? Because it is one. Great. Okay. Losing up. Gamble. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff on here. Okay, we get Collision, which is nice, and we have Moulinette. Moulinette is one of this floor's uh, attacks, so this is nice. Uh, I'm gonna show it off. Here. Then you do... Have a shield here. Oh no, we will not win against Flash. Whatever. And then you go for the sword as well. Make sure that he hits the shield. And we're done, Dee. No, you don't really have a way to do shit, so you just attack. And you're daring a soul. Great hit. Oh, you actually deflected it! Nice! Ooh. And yeah, Angela's just hitting with big attacks. We did not get Lies for our first one, but that's fine. We got Urgent for her. You go for a collision on... Does it even matter? You tailor here. 
be a daring decision here. And you can also pierce onslaught. Does anyone attack there? No. So you do the commandeering. And the France! France! Alright, that one is dead, for glee, uh, for burn, I mean. The other one is not. Hmm. This is a really bad draw. Hmm. Skull is very defensive, so. Let's put it on Roland. You can still move, so you ju you just use Mjolnir here. You only have losing up, so you can use it on the other five roll. You only have one again. You just attack here. It should be good enough, and you just gamble twice. Yikes. That's that one gone. That is that one gone. I know there's only one person left, really. Which we can kill in any of a myriad of ways we have. Great. Our party is still pretty chill. Now for a big show, it's just against Dante. They only have green pages. Like, this whole floor is full of green pages. But those green pages are not, not always bad. Kind of interesting. And look at that, a single at 5 to 13. It's really good if you use uh if you use it's an appears built with uh single strike. But I digress. We wanna hit stuff. To hit stuff we go with tailoring here. Sadly don't have mend, so that's yikes. Not that it matters though. We just use repre repressed flesh. Anywhere, yeah. Craig of Dawn usually wins. So honestly, we. The, the goal of uh, of Angel's page is literally just to use free costs every turn. It's almost like Aurora. Hmm. Meh. Collision is more fun here. Cause this has this is a max of four eight. This is a max of four eight. But we also have a lot of more strength, so we might just wiggle it out. Actually, I don't want that. I don't want her to intercept. I can intercept this, actually. Here, just use weight up. Commandeering here? Actually, no. Gamble, and you may flip a table. Here. And you just come in here and here. And boom. But yeah. Basically what what happened with this realization is that we have gotten a little less consistent, but we have we have more options to do good stuff. Which is nice and all. I don't mind it terribly. Uh, 
We could just go with more than that. It's just Dante. Oh, it is Dante. I would like to kill Dante with her own attack. And then we just use this. Daring decision over here. Along with Gamble over here. Oh, and you have Ment Weapon and Transpiercing. I'm sorry for the enemy. Let's go. Winning against uh, against that skill is pretty big. Does Angel die yet? No, Angel dies after this turn. But at this point, Angel just doesn't die anymore. That's what we're about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's big deeps. If we get lies on Angel, she's just, just unstoppable. And likewise, if we get uh if we get other stuff on our people, they get unstoppable. Like we get we have a lot of good stuff now. Like General Works is currently just our good stuff dump. <laughs> Yeah, we can just burn the books we got. We only got one book of Dante, but I already have all the skills, so I don't need to burn all of these. Also, book of Dante, I think I want to burn this after all. Mainly because it can get me another Moulinette. And I want to, I want more Moulinette books. Keeping one of that, burning all of those. Did I get a Moulinette bow? Damn it, Dante, you rip off. Oh no, where, there, there is one. Based. Great, great, great. Alright. Now, to go on further. I can actually use this. Oh, we can't use this. This is for, for the next one, for the above one. Okay, that's not generous. I was already wondering, like, how is this possible? But then I could use this for the Blade Lineage. This is the, the guy that uses the same or rather that, that Hard has a page from. So we're going to use a floor of literature here. We only have one floor available anyway. So yeah, as you can see, these pages are rather different. Yield My Flesh is a card I do not have. I don't know if I don't have it because I cannot get it. Or if I don't have it because I'm just dumb. Dumb unlucky. But I don't have this card. I would like to have it because it gets me to claim their bones, which is insane. Anyway, let's just go in. So this is another bleed-based floor, and it's just it's just strong. Kim himself is based on singular attacks, and they just want to inflict bleed. Anyway, by now you should have already seen how my how this works. I just go in, apply bleed a lot of stuff a lot of times, and be happy. That is usually my goal here. God harvesting is great here. So is rule of X reads. And now die is literally one of the best skills. And we do this. I can't believe that I'm still using Gut Harvesting in Urban Nightmare. Alright. That worked out pretty well. Except for the fact that we didn't get a... Uh, we didn't get emotion level ups here. Which is kind of sad. Alright. We go for this here, the Acupuncture. Can you just overthrow it? What we do what do we use it for? Actually we can use it for that. We use overthrow and to overcome crisis. To overcome crisis is great with the uh, setup on Ontario we have. Because it will always draw one card and restore a light, which is poggers. Right. 
you go here and then for a cleanup you go here and you can only realistically use here's my chance and this all right Kim himself will always have better slash tags, except against Hod, unless he rolls super lucky. Okay, we use Cocoon on Hod. He's our main attacker, so it makes sense. All right, we got Ink Over. I kind of want to use this, and then I kind of want to use that, but not on that. He's annoying. So this is a counter skill and I don't want to attack him on that because this is this is just brutal. So use it on him. Alright, you wanna use endless battle, I can smell it. Why don't you just do it? You use ink over here. And you can use flesh of sign up here. And then use another here's my chance. Valesa takes the most damage mainly because she gives it to herself. Yikes. All right, he's staggered. He's dead. He took a lot of damage. Yeah. We got X. X is great. More slash damage. Things like these make hot ultra OP with this combo. Like actually, actually no, I wanna I wanna show how much damage extreme edge deals here. Okay, just draw a sword on him, that should be enough to kill that. You use ink over here, you use endless battle here twice. And you can literally use anything. I don't think it matters. Hot kills these two, pretty much confirmed. What? He survived. Okay. Me and my big mouth, am I right? Love that one die at least. That prophecy came through. He only has one bleeding stack. Hmm. What do you use? Okay. We ink over here. Then we use now die here. Ink over. And to overcome crisis. And just tendering cords. Seven HP, come on, mate. Alright. And that's that's uh Bamboo Hat Kim. Really strong page, extremely strong page. I'll show the specifics of what it does in a second. Got only one. Oh, we got two books of him. Great. Yeah, yeah, my flesh is possible to be gotten here. And I just didn't get it. Yikes. Didn't I? Wait, I should have it. Wait, let me look that up again. Shouldn't get it this time though. Huh. Wait, but I should have it. I can type. I have three of these! Why am I not using them? Why am I not using them indeed? An extreme edge is great. But this has so much more potential. I'm gonna use those two. So, uh, Battlehead of Kim's page has speed, which is just one more speed uh, dice, singular strike, which adds two power on any uh, non counter uh, single attack, and adds twice as many emotion points. Unrelenting makes him not die for a turn. Soul Player for Homeland grants plus two slash dice. I think Raisin Strike is still part of his 
Yeah. Uh, Razor Strike and minimal offense, which is one bleed per slash and uh, one, plus one slash stagger, is part of his usual kit. This, of course, means we can only add three more passive skills because a character can only have eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nine. A page can only have nine passives. But I just supplemented it with Open Wound, which is plus one damage against enemies with bleed. Solidarity, which is one strength as long as everyone is alive. And Deep Wound, which uh, inflicts one bleed next scene if we win a clash with an offensive dice. So this is just... He get, gets plus two slash dice power. That alone is busted. On top of everything else, on top of getting strength from here, on top of... Uh, the bleed stacks. This is just way too busted to not use this page. And I think I haven't talked about Dante's page because Dante's page is not that overwhelming. It has speed, which is plus one dice law, grasping vulnerability, vulnerabilities, just uh, deals one more damage against a uh, against a weakness. Then there's this that at the end of the scene uh, negates a resistance. But not necessarily, it might also just do nothing. And then there's business which, which is 5 fragile based. Basically they can make a weak type fatal for the rest of the act, but this requires you to have 5 stacks of fragile. So I'm not usually, I, I'm not that keen on that. Anyway, those are those two pages. We're on 21 minutes, so we might try a bigger one. I want to try this. I honestly, part of me just does not want to do the sweepers. So last time, they, they are very annoying. They are extremely annoying. Hmm. Now we can bit of a uh, at this episode length. This is just a side episode. I might just upload it along with the last one. Actually, yeah. Let's just do that. So I hope you guys have a great day. I certainly had one. <laughs> and see you guys in my next episode of Library of Runa, where we finally will care. What one of these two will we do? I don't know yet. But we'll definitely carry on with the main story. Until then, I hope you guys are having a great time. Bye bye. <laughs>